guys, welcome back to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do green screening in Blender. So for those who don't know what green screening is, they call it green screen because it's usually the color green that they use it with. Um, there's other colors you can do too, but um, they don't usually use those. Anyway, green screening is basically when somebody wants to have a certain background or a certain floor or something like that. So let's just say it's a movie and if you have ever seen the behind the scenes of the movie, they're walking on a green mat with a green wall. That's because they want to replace all that with stuff from either an image or it's either CG. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So first of all, change your type of rendering to Cycles Render. You don't have to do this, but I will just for the scene that we're going to be making. Click Use Nodes in the World Editor and also enable Pro Lighting Skies if you have the demo for it. Um, I just like it. It makes it look better. And we'll, yeah, that'll work. And I'm going to change my sampling to be about 30. Okay. And then we're going to open the Node Editor. There we go. Once you've done that, go ahead and click Use Nodes on not the material, but the, um, the scene. And delete render layers. Now. Instead, add an image, and then open up your green screening image, or your movie. I'm going to be using an image, so that's the image right there. And you're in a car with a green wall there. Okay. And these uh, images here, the green screen images, are from a uh, another channel, another YouTube channel. They give, they give them out for free, um, so I'm going to use that. And yeah, so uh, I'll put a link to their channel in the description. Okay, so next all you need to do is add, it's just search key and then do keying. It's, that's all it's called, just keying. Drag the image into the image and then let's go ahead and create a viewer here, a viewer node. Not a movie clip, a viewer, mode, viewer node. There we go. Drag the image into both the composite and a viewer and then enable backdrop now this looks bad uh, my image is really large so I'm gonna just take the scale and change it to 0.5 there just where I can scale my image down to where I can see it anyway it looks bad because what color are we taking out we're taking all of the white out of this scene and if you think about that, uh, taking all the white out of a scene is uh, basically going to be nothing. So all this stuff is gone now. So we need to change it to the color of the background, this green background. And as you can see, it removes that background, the green background. Now we can change some of this. We can change the pre-blur. I'm going to change that to 2. Screen balance. We'll just change that to be that. See, that is you want to keep that at 1, and then the edge kernel, let's raise that up a good bit, and then we also want to take clip back, clip black up just a good bit, there we go, so uh, that's what we want, now back here, the where the green was, it's now an alpha, so what you can do now is say, add an alpha over node, Let's go ahead and delete that. And put this image into the bottom node. So this 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 image here is the thing that we're laying over. So this image is going to be laying over whatever our scene is. So now we can add a render layers. Take the image of that and put it into the top part of the alpha over. Now you don't see anything now, but let's just go ahead and render it. Um, we're going to position this camera to be in the front because it kind of looks like that in that image. And we'll raise it up just a little bit, just where it's kind of like a car. And then we're going to add a backdrop. So it, a backdrop image. And then make it to car screen. Now, what we're going to do is add monkeys in the sky falling. Monkeys falling from the sky. We're going to make them pretty small. And we'll make one really, oh, that's not what I wanted. One really big one smashing the car. How about that? Let's do that. And we'll do like that. As you can see, his mouth is going, like, at the steering wheel. 
But if we rendered this, so you render it, and when that comes, the mouth is no longer at the steering wheel, it is behind the car. So it now looks like this thing is about to smash the car. If you add just a little bit of shadow, let's go ahead and add some shadow to this. So we're going to add a plane. Okay, so sorry about that. So with this plane, just scale it up and move it outwards. Add a new material. We're going to need that. And then we're also going to go to the object type and uncheck camera. Okay, so once you've unchecked the camera thing here, um, let's just go ahead and raise it up to where it's about right there. And then we can add a sun lamp, otherwise known as directional light. And we can move it to be about right there. That works pretty good, it looks like. And let's maybe rotate that just where it's a little bit slanted, like that is. And now we can render this. As you can see, we have a darker thing here. That's because it's a shadow, and that's what we want. So that's good right there. That's exactly what we want. Just a little bit of shadow to where we can see it a little bit better. It's where it basically shows that it, this monkey is very close. Still needs to be raised a little bit. That's all right. Let's do that, and then let's render it again. Almost finished. And, I mean, it kind of works. It kind of looks like the, it's very close to it, which is what, kind of what we want. Okay, so that is it right there. Um, let's go and render it one more time. Okay, so that is it for this tutorial, guys. Um, next time, if this uh, tutorial goes well, then we will be doing an animator, a animated uh, green screen image. So, with people walking across it and all that. So, yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one.